it's absolutely despicable. It's, it's beyond wickedness um, to take uh, one of the most vulnerable persons in a community that all she wanted was to be loved, to be helped, and to to do that just for pure financial gain. It's, it, I mean, words can't describe their actions. I think the judge touched on it about how callous they were and what they've done. But to then, you know, cover it up for such a length of time and to come up with a, a you know, a, a web of lies that have deceived so many people over that time, it's just uh, absolutely wicked. It was a really challenging uh, investigation. Um, I mean, when you think about it, they had 16 years of head start on the investigation. They had 16 years to, to get their stories right, to um, confirm their lies, to, to build up that story of deceit. But I think it just shows the the, the skills of the investigators uh, and my inquiry team that were on that inquiry, uh, the work that they did, the professionalism they showed that, you know, um, as much as they thought they were the, the criminal masterminds, well, we picked holes in their, their story and their lies and we secured that evidence that ultimately got the conviction. I can only imagine that as times went on over the years, they've obviously got a bit relaxed and thought that they're getting away with it, but the lies have caught up with them and that's purely because of their greed uh, that's, that started the police investigation and, you know, as I say, that's caught up and they've got what they deserve now.